What's up, Fendabenders? And today, I'm showing you a really fun attack. Town Hall 9 Barch. Let's look at that. 50 Barbarians, 50 Archers, 10 Wall Breakers, 10 Wizards, 2 Golems, 2 Rage, 1 Freeze, 4 Earthquake, 2 Giants in the Clan Castle, and a Root Rider. You've probably seen a Root Rider a lot for me in my videos you've been watching. Him. 1 Poison, and then your 2 Heroes. Um, this is attack is actually... An unconventional Town Hall 9 attack. As you know, Barch is usually not used too often in higher Town Halls besides the really low ones. So, I would just... If you're not really a good attacker, this is not your type of attack. It's just sort of a fun attack if you want to learn how to do it. It's kind of fun. So, let me get my Root Rider. And let's go into it. I just want to... Oh, wait. Hero Equipment. Let me just show you that. Giant Gauntlet, Earthquake Boots, Frozen Arrow, and Invisibility, invisibility Vowel. You know, it's not going to be too creative in this stuff, but that is what I'm going to be using. Anyway, there's our army. Let's go and find our first attacker now. Okay. Oh, this is good loot, too, if I was actually looking for loot, but... This is like a max tunnel 9, so this is going to be a perfect one. So I need to think this through. Splash is a pretty big deal. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to kind of explain it the best that I can. I'll probably explain it after I use this attack easier. But I'm going to first do this attack. So then I can concentrate. Probably up there. Okay. First quake here. And then we're going to start the king push over here. You use the wizards to funnel. That's all I'm going to say. You use the wizards to mainly funnel. It's not the main push thing. It's not using the main push. It's used as funneling. So, like, that's why we have 10 wall breakers because you use a lot of them. This is where you put your king here. And then I like to just put, like, 10 of each. And then I'm going to watch for the king because the earthquake boots are very important. Crap, I just lost... We're gonna rage our king, and this is where we then add our queen attack here. And the root rider is gonna go to the side. I want to take out that wizard tower. King's already down. Oh, this might not be enough. Like I said, this attack is pretty hard. We're gonna few wizards, but I feel like it broke enough of the base. The root riders are coming through. We want them to go in. I gotta use all my wizards for this. We're gonna poison those skeletons. The queen's really carrying right now. You just kinda like spam them in. Like, I don't know what else to say. Oh man. This does not go as good as planned. This queen's taking damage. Rager. Oh, man. Well, I'm just going to place the rest of my troops. That did not go as planned. I'm going to show you one that did go as planned real quick. Wow, I got a lot of loot in there, which is completely useless. But I can't upgrade one of these. Ooh, this will be nice. Is Earthquake Boots really good? Mm, no. Frozen Arrow is. We're doing Frozen Arrow. Okay. So let me just train the army. And I'm just going to try to show you. You kind of see it's kind of like a three-way push. I should have combined them all more. I feel like that would have been better. Uh, let me go to one that I did three-star in. It might not be the best example, but you can kind of see what I did. So we're just going to speed this up. I usually Earthquake in the back, actually. I think I tried to combine all three. I'm trying to remember what i did this one did work i thought it wasn't gonna work but it did okay so now i sort of separated them but maybe i did converge them together let me see so i put those more yeah i did converge them a little bit better So yeah, this attack is hard. All I'm going to say it is hard. It's not a guaranteed three. You're going to have a hard time just going to attack it through. But yeah, there you go. There's the main gist of it. You kind of just wanted to see, analyze it. Let's do it. Let's do one more attack and let's see if I can three-star with it. It's a pretty hard attack strategy. It's just kind of fun though. Uh, do not worry. 
I'm about to leave Tunnel 9, but I'm going to do the, some of the conventional attacks like Lava Loon soon. But anyway, let's go to our next attack. This one's perfect. Let's do this. Okay, this one's actually kind of interesting. So I'm just trying to think, where would the Earthquake spell probably be most valuable? I feel like Root Rider Queen on this side here looks very useful. And then the King up here. There's less stuff, so the King can keep his value going. I feel like the Root Rider will be good here. Going on this side and queen going here. I feel like this could be a three if I plan it right. We're going to use king first. And that should be enough funneling. Usually you just use three wizards to funnel. And it will give you enough. Like this is kind of enough. We'll at least get the wall to break. Okay, that, that last one will get it to break. Killing some skeletons too. King. Archers, Barbarians. Oh, we need the Earthquake. So that's enough. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, there is, there is Clan Castle. There is Clan Castle. There's a wall breaker in that Clan Castle. Someone did not turn off their Clan Castle troops. We're going to Earthquake Boots here now. My king's going to fall. I can't look at him anymore. Why did they have clan castle troops? No one has clan castle troops in normal attacks anymore. Holy smokes. Okay, wizard, wizard. We don't need any more wall breakers. At least the expo didn't go down either. We need to rage this area, and we need to rage this area because there's wizard towers, and those will be big, big problem. Big problem for my archers. And some more barbarians. We need to take that out, so we're just gonna put a ton of barbarians, and that's distracted, so we don't need to use our freeze now. This should be a three. I got my queen going. I still got some pretty strong stuff. And all we need to do is place the rest of these down. And then just freeze that. There we go. And bomb tower falls. That's the last of splash. And there you go. So even with the clan castle problems, I pulled through. And the attack's pretty good. It's going to take some time to learn. You're really looking at the splash of so wizard towers and bomb towers and the expos. That's what you're really looking for. And what did I leave? Oh my gosh corner builder hut but so you kind of see what i did root riders here queen here you kind of want the root riders and root rider and the queen to converge while the king especially with this easy section up here could go on a separate tangent really though you want to you also kind of want them to go all together if you can so yeah it's kind of how it works there let me just request my troops to train some more and it's a pretty fun attack strategy um this is one of the first few times i failed getting a three star this attack where i didn't three star and yeah, I probably just made a big mistake, so I would have to rewatch it to figure it out because I was busy attacking. So yeah, next up attack is probably going to be Lava Loon. Since I got my max heroes now, I'm going to show you the best Town Hall 9 attack strategy to get the job done. So yeah, anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not a fan of video, yeah, let's go to the subscribe button. We are the fastest growing car crash in America. Check out my other Town Hall 9 content and LEGO content, and 